Kresge's Crypto Cave here. Um, today we're going to try out a new mining operating system. Well, not a new mining, new to me, put it that way. And uh, apparently I must have created an account a while ago. I just never actually utilized it. Um, but we're going to give MMPOS a try. Um, so to go there, just go to app.mmpos.eu and create your account. And then hit get MMPOS. Download. And why not? We'll just we'll throw it in there. And then once this downloads, then you need to download Belina Etcher, which that is at etcher.belina.io. Which I can leave, I'll leave all the links to all this stuff down below in the description. You want to download Etcher? And a trip for Windows installer. We're gonna be downloading this one, I believe. And I'll throw all that in the same folder. So I'm going to let that download, and then uh, we'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. And uh, just open up Belina Etcher, and then it goes to your downloads folder where you saved it, which actually I initially saved it in the video folder. I was like, why the hell did I do that? So uh, anyway, I moved it to downloads. So here we are. Select the image. Click open. And then select target. Oh. We'll USB flash drive, and then click flash. That's about 600 and some megs. Oh, it's going to give you a uh, prompt. And sorry, if you want to um, allow this device to make changes, hit yes. That probably blacked out the screen, I'm assuming. So, and then just give it some time, and it's going to flash it. it. Says ETA 37 minutes. I hope it don't take that long. Okay, we're not going to be. Well, it might take some time, but it's not going to take that long uh, for whatever reason. It's saying it's going to take that long, but we'll give it time to do its thing, and then we'll come back when it's all done. All right. All righty, the file is done flashing. Um, issue was this little POS of a thumb drive, this little Phillips 16 gigger that was probably stupid cheap on Amazon. Um, well, it's a piece of shit. Don't buy them. So, um, switch to previous Samsung thumb drive that I had. Um, Hive on it. It's a 32 gig Samsung. Uh, these things have been rock solid. Um, so I, I should have just used this to, to start off with. So uh, I'm going to go downstairs now because the rig I'm flashing this on is in my basement. It's going to be my 6x3070 Ti rig that is solo mining a lithium. Uh, so I'm going to go downstairs and get this uh, restarted with this OS. And then we'll get add it to MMPOS. Um, I was just doing some quick looking as far as there's two different ways to do to add a rig. Uh, so let's go to rig management. You can add a rig, new rig. You do it automatically by an IPB, IP address or a rig code. It was like a six-digit or a six-digit code or whatever. You just generate a new code or whatever to put stuff in. Um, so I'm gonna go down there and uh, see which way we're gonna do it. So uh, we'll be right back once that is all done and up up and running, and we'll see it in the OS. Here. Alrighty, I had to call another Audible. Um, the rig in the basement is using a Wi-Fi adapter that's not supported by MMPOS, so I am using the 2070 rig that's in the room right back there. Um, so it's all set up. It, it gave me a prompt, which I'll flash the picture up on a screen. I'm just looking at my phone to see it says the IP address to use. It'll tell you, hey, register by this IP address. And it's your local IP. It's not my... Uh, whole house IP, whole network IP. And I click automatically register. It says rig successfully at it. So there it is there. Now we are in the rig itself. There's no minor profile. Um, never really used this before, so we're going to learn as we go. So I'm going to see about changing a name. Uh, let's see. And that won't do it. Let's see what this does. General settings. There we go. 
coming in at 6x2070. Now let's go into and set up a minor profile. So this is how I knew I must have had this before because this was already in there. And when I went to create an account, it says my email address was already being used. So I was like, oh, I guess I did have one. Don't remember it. That's how long ago it was. So we're going to add profile. We're going to do a... Now this is actually on Dynex. So. So we got Dynex, SRB minor, latest. Add pool. We've been mining on deep miners. Wow, I can't freaking type. is go into my hive that is my dynex address so we're going to back here add wallet at dynex one address create wallet host name i don't know what it is Bull.us. Copy that. Oh, this should be interesting with the whole malubs and all that fun stuff. E. Create pool. Create profile. Go to advance. What does that do? Yeah. Arguments. What are arguments? Placeholders. Custom placeholder. No. Probably down here. So maybe this is probably where we put all this Malub fun stuff in here. My overclock's are in there as well. We'll see if that takes. Right, update profile. Clicking this one. Assign minor profile. We're gonna switch. Away we go. Maybe. We'll see. So I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm gonna go into the room there and check to see what's going on. So that looks like it was lit. That's all it took. Miner is up. Is he mining okay? Temps, kill, uh, hash rate, except the chairs. All that stuff is good. Um, here's all the GPUs, hash rates, temps, all that fun stuff. Um, 1470 is the core that's set in the miner software. <coughs> Watt is 75. I don't remember what the watts were in the hive. I probably should have notated that. I can show anything here now. Hmm. I know. Let's see if the watts were any higher in the Wemo device. Because I think it was right around 507, 511. Pretty close. Shows 510. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. So we'll focus. Uh, 
And I just biked it to 527, 530. Because what I believe... I'll have to figure out the overclocking in this just because the core offset I used to always use in Hive. So we go over in Hive here. I would have the core offset here at 90. Because for some reason it didn't seem like it worked the greatest when I would do it in the software. Uh, so I'll have to probably add that command line in MMPOS and see how that works. I could always try that. So it's a little, it's a little different. Uh, that's, I mean, I've been using Hive for how many years now, and um, so it's it's definitely different than than Hive, but it seems like it still works pretty good. Um, I do have to figure out how to set up a second miner using the second uh, the CPU miner because I had. You know, it wasn't making squat. I was doing mining rep. I'll probably just leave that off because it's not making that hash rate very low in that thing anyway for mining reptorium. Uh, so I'll just let that go and turn that and not and not use that anymore. So, but the core offset though, I'm gonna figure that out. Let's see in SRB miner. I have to figure out. Let's go into flight sheet. Really get into their GitHub here. Ah, oh, it's not what I want it. Sorry to blind you. Get this out of here. So I'll figure that out. I don't, um, I'll have to go to figure out SRB miners, uh, disc, not Discord, GitHub, and figure out what the uh, command for the, GP, the core offset. So I can set the core offset to about 90 or so and see if I can get that working. So let me work on that and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I figured out the uh, SRB miner codes. Um, I can leave the parameter link in the description below. Uh, but it's dash dash GPU dash C offset zero and then comma separated values um, so I put them in here I said at 90 you're gonna hit update profile and my guess is gonna restart the rig because right now watch we're in the 70 80 range I want to see if the um, use watts are lower with the offset in there now. So actually, reboot rig. Yeah, re you really want to reboot? Yes. So we'll see how long this takes to get restarted, and uh, we'll be back when when it's back up. We are back. It is up and running again. Uh, doesn't show a chart or anything like that, but twenty. Six shares the last hour. It's been running for seven minutes. Charts got a little spike here again. Hash rates, all that fun stuff. There was uh, with the core offset now in the flight sheet. The uh, voltages, or no, I noticed have been a little bit lower. I believe because I think these are around 0.8 before, and now they're like mid 0.75, somewhere around there. And power usage on the Wemo device is at 509. Just went to 512. I don't know if you can see that. Not sure if it's focusing. I think it's focusing. Down to 511. So, uh, so yeah, power usage is right around the same. So, I think we are up and running. Uh, make sure. So deep. I don't remember what the hell the deep miner is. Cool. I'll just search that. Cool.dmires.com. I didn't remember what the address was. Uh, so let's go in here. Copy the address. My Wacos. Paste. Actually, I can turn off this stupid. Uh, 
that plugin works pretty good for sites that don't have dark mode, but it kind of boogers up the um, websites that are already in dark mode and messes up the colors and stuff, and I don't like it. Um, but on websites that are no dark mode, like here, for example, this is what the, the plugin turned on. If I flip it to normal, blinding. So it works good for that. So, but yeah, whoops, wrong one. I'm on POS, so we're back here. And so we're gonna leave this go. I'm gonna mess around with it some more and and learn more about the the operating system and um and see how I like it. Cause it is half the price of Hive. It's it's about a dollar fifty a month, I believe, for a six card rig or eight card rig, whatever it is. Um. So hey, I might be able to save a few bucks by switching it if I like it. Um, so far, it's not too bad. It's different to set up than Hive, but not much different. General setup is the same. Uh, but I'll have to play around more with it and learn about the overclocking. Oh, is this? Oh, okay. I could do it here as well. Uh huh. Yeah, so I'll have to mess around with it. I'll see if I can put the over the core offset here. Mess around with that and just see how that works. Because that it, it wasn't sure what that was or how to do it. So but I did put it in a minor. So we do have that in a minor profile, which is essentially like your flight sheet in Hive OS. So you just click on advanced and it's all in all in here. So I might even try mess around with that some more take it out of there and put it into here so we'll mess around with that I'm gonna let this run for a while and then maybe on uh, I believe it's gonna be Wednesday is gonna be the next video um, I'll give you an update on how this is going and what I learned in the next couple days and stuff because um, also my uh, s19k pro gets delivered I believe Tuesday um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll have to check the tracking number again, but I'm pretty sure it's Tuesday is the scheduled delivery date, um, which might not work out the greatest. I might have to get my uh, family member to swing by the house during the delivery time because the signature is required. Um, or I'll, uh, um, hopefully it maybe goes to Monday. I'll be I'll be around Monday afternoon, or if it gets delivered Wednesday, then I'll just sign for it Wednesday. But either way, um, hopefully I'll have that bad boy up and running on Wednesday, and we'll shut down the Cadena Miner to decide that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shut down the IBLink BMK3, turn on the S19K Pro, and maybe now that the temps have cooled down, I might even put see if I can move some rigs around and on uh, the PDUs and uh, let that 120, the other one, the S19J Pro Plus 120 terahash model, put that on full power mode and let her eat for a while and uh, up until the having, uh, or the temps stop getting too high or something along those lines. But either way, we'll. Catch you on the next one. Take it easy.